some day I was I was driving and I was in the traffic and one guy was just honing P P P P. I was like Charlie, it be traffic oh. I was like it be traffic. Eh? Go if you don't go hard, the next person will go. Why are you crazy? You think they be quite millions or what? I'm like yo, boss. You. Welcome to Yendo Convention. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, uh, tell us about yourself, Kwame Eugene. Okay, um, I'm Kwame Eugene, as you know. Um, my actual name is Eugene Marfo. Um, I was born on the 1st of February. Um, I'm from Akimoda, Eastern region to be precise. Um, I do music, I, I've been doing music, and that's like my proper profession. Like, official one and I've been in the game for like I've been in limelight let me say limelight for like two years or close to two and a half years and quote, multiple awards last year I took High Life Artist of the Year at the end of VGMA and I took New Artist of the Year as well from there I took Most Promising African Act at the Just Under the Famer um, then I've been on BBC, I've been in almost, I've been in a lot of countries to perform, I have my music all over. So that's basically Kwame Eugene, yeah. Okay. So, Eugene Mouth. Yeah. Why music? Why music? Why music? Because God gave me a talent, I had to make use of him. Because, <laughs> I mean, I had a talent to sing, and me being the Eugene as I am, I thought it shouldn't just end in me singing in the bathroom and just making noise. Um, I have to really make good use of the fact that I have the talent. So I joined music and it's helping. So I took it as a profession, yeah. Was there a backup plan? I, I used to play football before I joined music. I used to play football and I play instruments. So, but it's solely music. I've been doing music since I was a kid. So it became part and parcel of me that I can't just let go. Yeah. Just music and that's it. I wanted to be a farmer too. Yeah. Uh, what, what would you have done? Livestock, crop farming? No, yeah, crop farming. I wanted to grow crops. Yeah. Okay. Growing up, uh, what was education like for you? Um, education was awesome. Um, but I, I, I wasn't that guy who was like 100% in class. It, it was school when primary, nursery, JHS, it was amazing. Like, yeah, but when I got to SHS, because of chasing this whole talent stuff, it became a bit difficult to solely, like, 100% stay in class and still do music. Yeah, because if, if, you, if you would want to combine both, you, you can't be a forced to record. You have to choose one. Yeah. So I was doing the education as well, and God being so good, I was clever, so I wasn't failing. Yeah, that's how come I was able to combine the two. That one, I didn't really do the studying more i did the music more so i had lots of idea and a, a little bit of experience after school but which schools were you at high school yeah because i was a bit stubborn i i was changing schools kind of. for me say from primary I, I went to and my mom because i was a bit stubborn she was taking me to missionary schools from presby to methodist to anglican to bowman yeah just so they would teach me ethics and how to be a good boy and stuff but actually I call out and I saw it, didn't it? <laughs> By the end of the day, I'm here today, so yeah. Senior high. Senior high, yeah. Senior high, from Salvation Army to Idol College in, in Accra. So I, I finally completed in Idol College, yeah. Growing up as someone wanted to do music, mm -hmm. which people influenced you as you found out that you wanted to do music? Okay, when I, I, I started from the church, because I, yeah. My, I've been a church boy for a very long time. My church is just like literally opposite my house, like five steps away from my house. So rehearsals, everything. That's how come I learned to play all these instruments. So I grew up listening to Dietrich Harden, listening to Hannah Mafo, Obapa Christie, to Sonny Badu. You get it? Because so, I was so attached to the gospel music. And when it comes to the secular side, I was listening to. Daddy Lumba, I'm actually the Kojin Chimo, and if we're on point. So, as a church boy, yeah. um, how did you end up 
on the other side of things. Now, I got signed to a record label, we were doing good music, and I joined and I continued doing good music. Okay, so would you, is it right for anyone to say that? Branching into circular music was so I branch into circular music. That's why I don't term the song I was doing before I got signed as gospel. I was doing good music. I'm still saying Anenya Mike Mami and my kind of music that I wanted to show since I was a kid and joining this whole music industry was a message to the people. I want I always want to have something to tell the people that um they're causing confusion. There's a message in the song. Angela, there's a message in the song. Wish me or there's a message. So I'm still selling message and that's why I'm still doing it. Which genre of music did you sing? I do high life. Yeah. Contemporary high life music. How different is it from Afro pop? It's Afro pop is adding a little bit of the foreign touch to our high life music. That's that's my definition for Afro pop. Yeah. So currently in the industry, which people inspire? A lot of people inspire me. Um, Kidi, Sakodi, Shatawale, Stoneboy, Kofi Kenata. Yeah. Have you had uh, collaborations with all of these? Kidi, no. Shatawale, yes. Sakodi, yeah, yes. Kofi Kenata, no. So let's go on Kidi. Why? Because I mean, you guys are the same. Um, just as you're saying, like if 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 I want to catch a fish. And I have a friend who is a mermaid, it's not difficult. She lives with her fishes, guess it. Yeah, so it would be easy to just catch it anytime I need it. Yeah. So I would rather aim at those that I, I will find difficulties to meet or find difficulties to get features with. Get them because Kitty there is a brother. I can just say tomorrow I want to live with Kitty and it's possible. Yeah. How are you finding fame? I'm finding fame to be cool and slash difficult at the same time. But it's all good. Once before you walk in the streets, no one, not a lot of people recognize you right now. We, we can take a walk here and a lot of people will recognize you. When people walk up to you, what do you do? How's the feeling? It depends on who is walking up to me and it depends on the person's approach. Yeah, because I'm, I'm a very calm person slash at the same time I'm, 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 I'm a very bold person, a very confident person. So. I have people approaching me with good mind. You will be like, oh, come on, Eugene, can you take a picture? And some people to approach you just in the name of he, he doesn't like you because you feel you are a celebrity. Some people, um, um, they think that you think you are a celebrity. So maybe you'll be harsh when you meet them. So they have it in their mind that I will be harsh first when I meet him, especially when they meet you personally. Because some, someday I was, I was driving and I was in the traffic and one guy was just horning, pee, 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 pee. I was like, Charlie, he be traffic, oh. I was like, he be traffic, go. If you don't go hard, the next person will go. Why are you crazy? You think that he be coming here as well? Yo, bossy. Do you get what I mean? So I just have to just drive away and let it go. So it depends on how the person approaches me. And sometimes when I get into my Fadama boy element, I, I sometimes forget that I'm a celebrity and I get down, we do what we do and we we'll continue. For anyone who, want, who is a Ghanaian and understands whoever lives in Farama, we just um, always tend to be confident people and we, we barely take no for an answer and when you don't want to take it easy on us, we don't want to take it easy as well. Yeah. How is it for you, you know, consistently you've talked about how you came out from Farama, but how is it for you as someone uh, who came out from that background. Uh, how is your relationship with people, for instance, over there? I'm, I'm calm. I'm one cool person. And as I was saying, when you're cool with me, you, you get close and you go like, oh, Eugene is that cool. Yeah, and I don't believe me that money actually doesn't move me like that. Uh, because I've been through where there was no money before and I'm seeing small money. So it actually doesn't move me like, yeah. But living with people is one very difficult and especially when you are a celebrity they take every single thing you do into consideration oh what you have so what can say hey what can say something that a regular person will just say and go scot free you say it playfully and it will be a big deal so that's the only problem that man is facing right now besides that i'm actually a cool dude yeah you still live in let me say 80 percent yeah 
I, I don't I don't sleep there now, but I'm, I'm, I'm always there. So, of your two parents, yeah. which one was more supportive last year? My, my mom, 100%. My dad didn't like this whole Kwame Eugene rockstar music idea because he thought I was a smart boy, I should stay in school and focus on the books because um, I can be a force to work on in the future and I'm messing this whole thing up with sleeping with studios and stuff. So, he was actually upset with this whole Kwame Eugene brand. But as time goes on, he got to understand that, okay, that's the level the boy wants to go. And with his talent, if he focuses and with our support, as I'm saying in favor for um, himself or my mom, if they support me, I can go fine. It's now small cash they come with me. He, he, he understands now. So he's happy now? Would you be happy? <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, it's all good. Yeah. So let's talk about performance. Yeah. Uh, Thought of as one of the best performers. How is it like going on stage and singing in front of thousands? It's, it's not easy. First, I used to be really tense when I'm going on stage. Like, I get my nervous pitched up to like 80% because. Well, I think one, it's, it's because I didn't have a head song. It's part of it. When, when you don't have a head song, you do more because you, ha you actually have to impress them. You have to, have, to, have to put it in their minds that, okay, I'm not, I'm not big, but when you give me the chance, I can do exploits, do you get what I mean? So, it's more difficult when you're new. I remember, but I still, I still do pray before I get to any stage, because it's risky when you sing. So it'd be, you like, give me joy, and everybody will like, mm, mm, mm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> do, do, you, do you know how the whole thing feels? It feels like, oh, you're not working. And it ginges you when, so it'd be, you like, give me joy, and the whole place goes like, Angela, it ginges you, put you in that mood. So every artist will wish for that thing. And when you sing your songs, there will be fans out there to receive you. The reception should be just great. That's why we still pray. Me, per se, I still pray before I go on stage, actually. Everybody come out, come on. That's why my mom just don't mind me. How point did you realize I am a star? When my mom bought me, actually. My mom, my mom told me, Kwame, you'll be a star. In fact, Kwame, you're a star. I'm like, oh, mommy, I didn't get it. So as time went on, people started calling me. Even when I wasn't popular, like I was popular in most of the schools in Eastern region. Yeah, and people started approaching me. I got paid for shows when I was in SHS already. So, I mean, that started on. But I, I was just praying that I should get to this extent that it is today. And God being so good, I'm here today. So I felt being a star and I embarked on it and I'm here today. Yeah. So far, um as a musician, what would you say is your favorite collaboration? Favorite collaboration? Yeah. Wow. I actually have to remind it. Me one, I mean, I Dina, and Scatterbad Man, Scatterbad Man, and Never Carry Last. These, these three, I can just choose one. So that last two songs we have with Virus in front of Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, their name should be. You think people would, would have expected you to include in the daily collaboration? Mm, Charlie, sometimes you, you couldn't just record a song or just pick up a phone and go like, yo, I need you on a song. You get to take the process. And when, when you want to release a song at this very particular time and you are reaching out to somebody and the person is delaying you, the best is just to release and have confidence that it's going to do well. You get it. That is one reason why I don't put people on most of my songs. Some people will deliberately delay you and it disturbs, yeah. But when the availability is there, we just do it. Like, reaching out to Shata, it was quite easy because it was Varsky's tune. Uh, Varsky has been playing for Shata for years and that relationship is there, so it, you get the connection. And reaching out to Miss V, she's in the same camp with me. At the end of the day, it comes back to the ease of this whole thing. So it is easier to reach this person, yeah. Um, so, as, as an artist, mm -hmm. first of all, let me ask, how old are you? I'm 21. I'll be 22 next Friday coming, yeah. Next Friday? Yeah. Okay, so happy birthday. This Friday, thank you, thank you. This Friday? Yeah. Happy birthday in advance. Uh, are you getting a lot of female admirers? Yeah. That, I get them. That, does that bring added burden? The bed in there, it's there already. It's 
there already. Living as humans and living in Ghana in particular comes with burden. And being a celebrity comes with burden. So I think that is part of the job. I, I don't take female pressures to be something that is going to bring something down. Or, yeah, it's just part of the job and we're doing it. Yeah. I see. Uh, you have a girlfriend? No, not yet. Still okay. working on one. Still working on one. How soon can your fans know? Okay, this is why we use your friend. I'm, I'm, when I find a person, I think it's best I put the person out there. Okay. So we're still talking about your celebrity status right mm -hmm. now. You are, you are big. Uh, my checks have shown that. You one, two, one, two. On YouTube, actually, checks on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Uh, show that you have almost 20 million views. I think in the last 30 yeah. years. Yeah. How much do you charge for a show or a collaboration? Oh, that one is like 100 classified. Because I mean, you have investors and and show planners and organizers with different perceptions. You get what I mean? And sometimes the show may be in a car. It's just like a stone field. I just sit in my car, do my security, go and play the show and come home. That one you can't charge a fortune for that. As a routine modern. But when I have the show at somewhere in Sierra Leone, I need to fly in and out, it adds more cost to this whole thing. So it, it depends. How yeah. would you say you're one of the biggest challenges out Charlie? Charlie. Um, you are big. I, I wouldn't say I'm one of the biggest charges out there, but I would say I'm one of the artists that have lots of hit songs 2017, 2018. So that's one reason why I'm being called for lots of shows. And if my reputation is up to that level. I take enough. Yeah. Uh, so, going forward, yeah. from you, uh, how do you deal with controversies? Um, I keep saying we're humans, so we go wrong, and when controversies come, sometimes you take the good side of it, you embark towards it. If there is a change, if there's a need for a change, you change, if forever you go. At the end of the day, there are things that people think you should do or not to do. So you just have to sit, plan, and focus. And I'm, 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 I'm just 21, Charlie. I'll make mistakes. I'll learn. And I'll keep going. Yeah. Okay. Let me, let me zero in on some of these mm -hmm. controversies. Uh, there was one with uh, uh, Adani West <laughs> saying that he believes some of your yeah. Yeah. yeah, he believes in he... yeah. How do you feel? I mean, he's a, for those who love I like music, he's a legend. So, someone saying that it's such a thing from him, how did you feel? I, I was actually excited that a legend like Adani Betts listens to my music. I was, I was pleased. I was like, yo, come, you are doing small, small for yourself. And two, I, that's where I didn't get when he said I took just E. I didn't get because. When I was in SHS, we used to do Eba, 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 Eba as Jama. And, and that's what I actually implied in my song. I didn't know the Jama was for Danny Bess. I wouldn't have gone for the Jama. And that's uh, all. Uh, the confusion, controversy? Um, from one guy, from some country. Okay, one. That can actually help to make confusion a big song. So it was a good, bad publicity for me. And let me just say that from Arachicho Mido, you know, our own legend, Arachicho was taken from Julio Iglesias, um, that's Aquabo's dad, the legend took that. And it's, uh, I'm not the first person. Um, oh God, I okay, thought JB took it again. Um, a lot of people, like this thing happens. Um, from Ebony to Daddy Dumba. So I'm actually not the first person to um, do this thing under the sun. But I just felt happy that I'm the person everyone wants to talk about when it comes to things like this. It means I have top of mind awareness and I felt pleased about that. About who took this and who never took this, Charlie. The song was a big song. I took an award from it. And if, if my shows I played in Sierra Leone, um, in Liberia, I think Confucian is their biggest song. So that was a smart mood on my side and I felt proud of myself. Okay, so for those who do not understand the music business, mm -hmm. uh, 
Can you explain to them what what then do you say to the originator of the song? Do you, do you pay something? Listen, uh, when when someone uh, 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 one individual cannot cannot take hold of a rhythm that can pop up in anybody's idea or anybody's mind. Do you get it? And it is when you pick the same thing, like a whole song, and do it again. It's when it's called theft or something. Yeah, but ideas are being bored. So you just actually don't even need permission to borrow ideas because who hasn't bought an idea in this world before? Do you get it? Yeah, so it's just part and parcel of the business. So you never spoke with the I didn't speak with anybody. Yeah. Uh, another controversy, uh, a more recent one, involving your watch. Yeah, my Patek, yeah. You deleted tweets. Yeah. Can you explain to your fans? Yeah. Okay, so I have my watch. I posted it on Instagram. People started talking. Some say, wow, it's nice, or some say, hey, it's expensive, you can't buy it. My own people. And I didn't have to explain that, oh, Charlie, I played like almost 150 shows in a year, I have this money, I have to, I can buy it, that's why I bought it, and then, 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 then. It's my watch. I posted it on my page. People were talking, people didn't get it. I deleted it from my page. That's it. Did you add a price tag? Like I didn't add a price tag, but people were out there googling to see the price tag and stuff. So why did you delete it? It's your watch, like you said. Like you said, and it's my page, like you said. <laughs> I can post something to then delete it tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Another, the last of the controversy. Uh, uh, how did you treat my prophet Nigel Gaze's prophecy that you and your friend uh, Kidi were going to have a terrible? Kosiata was part. Don't take Kosiata <laughs> part. But if we are suffering, we are suffering. Yeah, so I did you that. Okay, so I feel this is like a blow to three brothers. Like, we joined the game not long ago. Like, me, per se, it's like it's two or two and a half years that I joined this game. And I'm not saying I'm I've been getting something small to feed myself and my family, and I'm hearing this bad news that this year is going to be a bad year for you. And I actually felt bad, I'm human. But all I can say is, it's a prophecy. I think it was meant for the three of us. It wasn't meant for the public. Now we have to deal with all these questions. Like, if some somebody didn't put this whole thing out there that me, I'm saying on TV, that these people are going to suffer this year, like, I wouldn't be here answering this question that I, I, I actually don't know anything about his spiritual world. Do you get it? So I'm just saying next time when a prophecy come, just approach the young ones and go like, you people, this is what I've heard. And I actually believe in prophecy and I've prayed about it. So may God help us. That's it. Okay. One thing about me, I like fufu pan. It's my favorite food. I love my mom. Pan. With, with what soup? Fufu. Uh, with what soup? Rice soup and goat meat. Can you prepare it? Do you cook? I'll use YouTube. <laughs> Do you use YouTube to cook? Yeah. Uh, How is that even possible? Ah, it's possible. How? You watch the procedure, like, fire. no, put rice on fire, you, like, hot water, you boil it for like 15 minutes, so that it will, it will make it easier to boil the rice. So you, you put it on, you put the hot water on fire for 15 minutes. I pause the YouTube. I'm going to put the hot water on fire. Wait for 15 minutes, I press play. I'm like, okay, now pour the rice. I press pause. I pour the rice. Charlie, by if you take a normal girl for like an hour, it take me 24 hours, but I'll cook the food. Do you know what I mean? I don't know where I've cooked the food. Okay. Uh, so, uh, we are running up. Uh, we'll get to a segment, but this is, this is a more personal one. Hmm. About my bubble. <laughs> are you a virgin? Yes, I'm not a virgin. We get as a fan of yours. Uh, she's a sister. She's not a fan. She's a sister. Yeah, she's a sister now. Would like to, you know, do a duet with you? you know? Ooh, yeah! Come on. <coughs> Baby, how are you? Okay. 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 Yeah. So. Uh, your sister would 
tall as I mean. And uh, yeah. <laughs> so you tell us your name and uh, why you love Pam Yuju so much. Okay. My name is Audrey Fiaja Bankra, and I love him because I love how he is. Oh. He is. Okay. How long have you been uh, loving how he is? Since he started music. <gasps> okay. How old are you? Eleven. Eleven. So okay. And today's your birthday. Yes. Ah. Which one of is your favorite song among all his uh, songs? Uh, they are all my favorite. They are all your favorites. If you had to choose one that you could sing. Leave them dry. Walai. Okay, so can you sing Walai? Uh, yes. Can you sing with one music? Yes. Oh, so you will <coughs> sing there as song. And uh, it's your birthday, so uh, I think this is probably one of the biggest presents you are going to get today, singing with Kwame Yuji. Okay, so. Show sure your pretty face. <laughs> okay, so let's sing it. One more thing, would you tell Pum, 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 pum. Hey, yes, yes. My baby, I promise to make you my lover. And so don't cry, oh my god. Cause if them try me, hey, if them try me, mango shy, mango die. If them try me, if them try Everybody, everybody. Pam pam. Baby, jam jam. Ba 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 ba. Hmm. Oda. I'm a little bit dear, ba 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 ba. Oda. Baby, jam jam. Ba 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 ba. Oda. Hey. I see me pearls are. The envy you don't mind up. My heart desire. I want to feel your pearls up. I'm working harder, so I go show you dollar. I buy him I don't go do you baller. I'm working harder, so I go show you dollar. I buy him I don't go do you baller. One more time, if them try, me too. Okay. If them try, we mango shy, mango that rockstar. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, there's a question we are we are live. Uh -huh. There's a question coming from some of your fans. Somebody's asking, Chipu and K is asking, when is he going to have a concert in Nigeria? And soon, I'm I'm actually getting calls from Nigeria because after confusion, Angela was really big in Nigeria. We have Wish Me which is really big in Nigeria as well. So I'm getting calls from Nigeria. So we are working, we are putting things together to so come to Nigeria. Soon, 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 soon. Okay, another person is asking if you write your own songs. Yes, please, I do. All of your songs? Every single song you hear. Okay. And uh, what are your plans for 2019? Try amazing plans. To meet wonderful people like this in my life, and it's happening already. Um, to have more international features, because you want to tap into the international market more. Yeah, more good videos and stuff, yeah. If you have a concert in Nigeria, If you have a concert in Nigeria. <laughs> if you do have a concert in Nigeria, mm -hmm. it will be your first. Come again? It would be your first one. No, 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 no. It was a Zydokun concert. I wasn't there. You were in there? No, no, no. I, I was there for me, your Kun's concert. Okay. So you weren't, you weren't uh, part of the, uh, the artist who were not well received? No, no, no. I was well received when I was in Nigeria. But how, how do you... How did you feel about that? I, I felt good. It feels amazing when another African country and you can tell this is not your home. And they still vibe to your music, they sing every line of it. From Nigeria to Sierra Leone to Liberia. And Sierra Leone over 45,000 capacity. Every single of them was singing Angela, Confusion. They causing confusion. I put the videos out there, you guys. Saw. And it, it feels amazing. It feels Charlie. You're doing something good, not for just the people in your country, but some people elsewhere. Yeah. 
So what are your plans for the year? Any expectations for the GMA? Mm, Charlie, I need I need high life artists of the year. You need high life artists. You want it last year, though? Yeah, and I I just want to continue that legacy. It feels good. What um, about that category? Yeah, every 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 single um category award that I fit in that um, it is believable that I deserve it, Charlie. If I get it, I'll give glory to God. And your plans for the rest of the Charlie, I said it earlier on more videos, more international features. Because you want to tap into the international market, Charlie. We to before do the O2 sound. I say, God day.